but at nighttime, it's like my mouth is wired shut. It feels like my teeth are grinding against each other just because it's just like, ooh. <laughs> what's good guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title of this video i am doing a one year braces update and if i'm talking a little bit weird it's because i do have my elastics in and they're super tight right now and it's just making me talk really funny and they kind of hurt my mouth is very very sensitive right now so just bear with me all right so i've been getting a lot of questions to do my one year update it's actually been over a year I've had my braces on for a year and two months for my top braces and a year and one month for my bottom braces because I did get them at different times because if you guys remember I did have that freaking annoying ass expander for four months and I absolutely hated it absolutely hated it this is what it looks like on the top of my mouth this is my tooth Honestly, this makes me feel like I should have just broke my jaw instead of getting the expander. So I have this expander in for my jaw because he said that that's like the main problem with your tooth is your jaw. Anyways, that has been over and done with for a super long time. So I just want to share with you guys my yearly progress. And I have to say that my teeth, my jaw, just everything about like kind of like the structure of my face, like the bottom portion of my face has changed a lot first of all my bottom teeth if you guys remember i did have a really 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 crooked tooth it was all the way like sideways on a 180 degree angle and we use elastics and everything to turn that bad boy around and i just can't even believe that we salvaged that tooth so now my bottom teeth are pretty straight um, my top teeth have have been straight for a really long time as well they're super straight um yeah, my last appointment was September 21st. See, I can't even talk. September 21st. And honestly, when I go into my orthodontist appointments, he doesn't really do much. He either will change my wire or he'll just change my elastics. And that's pretty much it. So it doesn't take long. It's probably like a 30 minute appointment and then I'm out the door. So this time when I went in, I think I did change my wire. And I also got my elastics. Well, I had my elastics already. Yeah, I did have my elastics already, but sometimes he'll go like one month without them and one month with them, it all depends. So anyways, I have my elastics. I have two different positionings that I have to do. Um, for a while, I just had the one where it's connected to my last molars and then connected to my canine teeth. So that's what I have in right now. And pretty much what that does, it, it pushes my bottom jaw back and my top, my top forward. So that's pretty much what it does. And I can see the improvements. I've been doing this, I think, well, honestly, for like the past four months, I think. Um, so I'm kind of used to the pain now. It's not that painful, but when you first get them, child, oh my gosh. I could not eat for probably about a week. I couldn't eat solid foods for about a week, so your girl lost some weight. But <laughs> yeah, it's really, really a struggle when you get your elastics. So during the day, I have to wear my elastics, like I said, from my molars to my um, to my, can my canine teeth. That's what you call it, I think so. Yeah, to my canine teeth. And at nighttime, this is the worst, worst, worst position ever. So I pretty much have to wear my bands from my... I don't even know what you call it. Uh, okay, I wear my bands from my canine to my canine teeth. So it's literally like my mouth is wired shut. Ugh, it's such a disturbing type of feeling. So when I put it in at night, I like to lick my lips and all that. Like I cannot lick my lips. It just goes from side to side. It's like, <laughs> it doesn't, I can't put my whole, I can't lick my lips, like the whole of my lips. It's just impossible. So it gets really, really uncomfortable. So at nighttime, I make sure that I take some like Vaseline and I just like slather it around my lips because I don't want my lips to be dry. Um, and the worst feeling is waking up in the morning because, okay, when I first put it at nighttime, if I'm still up or whatever, like I can talk and everything, it's just really weird. I'm like, yeah, so that 
yeah that's what's happening tonight uh yeah uh, uh. <laughs> but at nighttime it's like my mouth is wired shut it feels like my teeth are grinding against each other just because it's just like Mm. <laughs> and like obviously because my mouth is not moving during the nighttime, it just literally feels like it's glued together like locked in there and when I wake up it's pretty pretty painful because I'm like trying to lift my jaw but it's it, it's kind of painful and it feels really really weird so yeah I don't really like that feeling I don't really like having the that positioning with my bands it's just ugh. so when I have my bands positioned like this like I said, it pushes my jaw back, my bottom jaw back, and it brings my top jaw forward. So you can see a little bit of my open bite, a little bit of the space. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, it leaves a little space there, but you can see that my teeth is kind of going forward. And then when I wear the other position, that kind of locks my face up or locks my teeth up. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I can see that like my top my top teeth are kind of creating like an overbite, a little bit of an overbite, because that's what you want. You kind of want it to go slightly, slightly over your bottom teeth. So I can literally see my open bite closing, which is amazing because guess what that means, y'all? Guess what that mother effing mean? I don't have to get jaw surgery. Woo! Woo! I'm hot, <laughs> but I don't have to get jaw surgery. My orthodontist at the very beginning, he was like, you have like a really bad open bite. You might have to consider doing jaw surgery. I was like, no, like I don't want to do, I don't want to go through all that. Like I'll just be happy with straight teeth. But honestly, as I realized as time went on, I'm like, I hate this open bite. It also makes me have more of a lisp. So I would have gotten the jaw surgery after my braces. Like that's what I would have done if I really had to. But he said it's looking really, really good. It's looking like you won't have to get the jaw, the jaw surgery. Your mouth and your open bite is really closing up. So I was just like, yes, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. I'm so happy that I won't have to go through that. Like, I'm really, really happy. But honestly, from doing research and everything, like I've seen people with worse open bites not do jaw surgery and their mouth came out or their teeth came out really really good so yeah my whole jaw has literally changed like i can feel my jaw moving sometimes like literally when i first had my elastics in i would open my mouth and my ears would pop and that's because my jaw was moving into place which is so freaking scary but so cool at the same time so that is that no freaking jaw surgery for me Okay, and another thing about these elastics, bro. Oh my God. So I don't know how this happened or what happened, but maybe it's because I have two different um, elastic positionings, but I cut the side of my mouth and I really never cut the side of my mouth with elastics or rubber bands or whatever. And I have like a gash right at the side of my mouth. It freaking burns. So like when I open my mouth like really wide, it burns. When I, wake, when I woke up in the morning, it was like all crusty at the side and it's so uncomfortable. I hate that feeling. It's so crazy because I used to watch other people's braces journeys and they always had like something like weird at the side of their mouth. It's like, it looked like it burned. It looked like it hurt. It, looks like, it looked like they had cuts on the sides of their mouth. And I was like, how come they get that? And now I freaking realize why. So I have like a gash at the side of my mouth and I don't like it at all. So anyway, the next time I'm supposed to go to my orthodontist is October, 21st but I don't know if I'm gonna make it just because I'm here and then literally right after here I'm going to Southeast Asia and I won't be back until November 30th which is my next braces appointment so I don't know if that's gonna mess me up in terms of taking off my braces but I don't mind because I actually love my braces so right now for the time being I'm just gonna make sure that I always have my elastics in and um, hopefully by the end of this month well yeah, by the end of this month, um, by the end of October, I see some amazing progress. And I feel like I will because I already see the improvements. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Like I say in every one of my braces update videos, braces are the best, one of the best inventions ever. Like I just can't believe I never got them earlier or sooner. Well, I can't believe I was just broke. A lot of you guys notice my teeth as well. And you guys are like, girl, your teeth look bomb. And I'm just like, Thank you, sis. Thank you, sis. I know. <laughs> Y'all, I'm crazy. 
Anyways, I'm just going to give you guys a time lapse like I always do in regards to my teeth. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys all in the next video.